what's up guys welcome back to my channel so for those of you who have watched my last few videos i will tell you right off the bat that i have good news for my blood results that i just took this morning but before i tell you all the details about that i want to back up for anybody who's just coming across this video or anybody who's new to my channel um to kind of let you know what's been going on so i've been trying to conceive for about 20 months and in the past like four or five months, I've gotten pregnant three times. The first time it was an ectopic pregnancy and so it, I had to get treated with methotrexate to terminate the pregnancy. Um, the second time was last month and it was chemical pregnancy and the third time is this month. And this month I think is looking good. Like I'm really optimistic and hopeful about this month. So I got a positive pregnancy test on 10 DPO. On 9 DPO, there was a little bit of a line. Um, and 10 DPO, I definitely got a positive. And 11, it got darker. And it's continued to get darker and darker and darker. Um, I have been testing every day because I just can't resist. And this morning, it was like blazing dark. So I will insert a picture so you guys can see the progression over the last few days. So today I am 13 DPO and I went in for blood work um, to test my HCG level and my progesterone level. So um, over the last few days it has been kind of an emotional roller coaster. Like I go to get really excited and then I get nervous and not want to like, you know, get too excited, get my hopes up that this is going to work out because it's so early, miscarriages happen, that's actually pretty common. Um, so I don't want to be like so devastated if it doesn't work out. So I've had moments where I've been really happy and excited and generally I feel happy, but I also have been like trying to protect myself a little bit just because of the whole history that's gone on with me. Um, a lot of you were saying in the comments that I need to like not stress because that can cause miscarriage, which is part of that like made me more stressed but at the same time like I really appreciate you guys saying that because you're totally right and when I read those comments I was like stop freaking out like just calm down you don't have to be super excited but you don't have to be super stressed either just kind of be mellow be happy but just like don't worry too much and so that's what I've been doing and I felt like pretty good the past few days there have been you know moments where I feel a little bit worried but overall there's really no reason nothing that's gone on that should make me worried um, so so far like my symptoms are just missing my period essentially like they say that that's the earliest sign of pregnancy and I still haven't bled at all like I've had tiny 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 bits of light brown spotting and that's it so that's super exciting because the other two times when I had unsuccessful pregnancies, I was bleeding right away with those. So um, every day that I'm not bleeding, I get a little more confident. And I know bleeding can be completely normal in pregnancy, but just because of my history, like it's nice to not be bleeding. Um, so without further ado, let me tell you my blood results from today, which I am super, super excited and proud of. It's kind of weird to say proud because it's not like... I did it but like I don't know in a way it feels like you know you're doing this when you get pregnant and when you lose a pregnancy you feel like guilty in a way like what could I have done differently so um, yeah so basically okay I'm just rambling I'll tell you guys so my HCG today at 13 DPO was wait what was it <laughs> I think it was let me check hold on it was <laughs> I had it wrong. I was close though. I want to give you guys the right number. It was 158, which for 13 DPO, I feel like is a really good strong number, like right out the gate. So um, I thought it was going to be high because of how dark my pregnancy tests were. I was hoping for like 50. Um, so 158 was like awesome. So as you guys may know, the real test is if it doubles every 48 to 72 hours. So I'm going back in for labs on Friday morning and we're hoping to see, or at least I'm hoping to see like at least 300 or so. Um, that wouldn't be exactly doubling, but it sometimes takes three days to double. So three, like three to 350, I would be super happy. 
um, if we we're in that range. I also got my progesterone tested because I was worried about having low progesterone. Um, just because I have a short luteal phase and I just thought that was an issue I was having based on labs I've had in the past and my progesterone was 16.1 So my doctor said as long as it's above 10 that's good and it slowly creeps up during pregnancy So because I'm not spotting and because my number came back pretty good. She's not really worried about um, My progesterone level at this point. So I'm not worried about it the other thing is I stopped taking my basal body temperature because that was part of what was stressing me out is like seeing it go down then up then down and um, it's just it's not worth it and my doctor said it's really like not that accurate um, especially after you're pregnant so that was another one of your guys suggestions is to put down the thermometer which I did so thank you guys for talking some sense into me. Um, sorry this video is a little bit all over the place and so I actually have had um, two other symptoms that I forgot to tell you earlier. One of which is my brain has been so foggy. Like just basically within the first like day or two of me finding out I'm pregnant, it's just been like I haven't been as sharp as I normally am. And I don't know if that's a pregnancy symptom or like I changed my thyroid medication recently, if that's a side effect of that or combination or I'm just excited so I'm like just not as focused but I just... I have a little more trouble just concentrating and like, I don't know, I'm very like logical in how I think and like orderly and right now I feel like everything's all jumbled around, which is totally fine. Like I think it'll probably like maybe my body's just adjusting to this and it'll clear up and I know that is a pregnancy symptom, but it's just so early to be feeling that. I didn't think that would happen this early, but maybe that's what that is. Um, the other symptom that I've been having is really bad lower back pain. And I have uh, scoliosis, so I have low back pain anyway, um, but it's been like particularly uncomfortable um, the past couple days. And part of it is like I've been just busy and driving a lot and driving is bad for your back. Like this morning when I went to go get labs, I drove, I left my house at 6.15 in the morning, I drove to my fertility doctor, I got blood work, I drove to work, I didn't get to work until 8.45. Like that's how long it took to do all that and I was at the doctor for maybe 25 minutes. So just like I'm really excited for the point when I can like graduate from that doctor and just go to my OBGYN because she's much more conveniently located. Um, any of you guys who have gone to like a fertility specialist, I don't know, depends on where you live, but like for me, there isn't one who's like in my town. Like I have to go like five towns over to get to the, the closest one. Um, so it's just that's just how it is so it'll be a little bit difficult for the next few weeks going to appointments and stuff but we'll just do it and then hopefully we'll be able to graduate from that doctor and just go to my normal doctor and that'll make things a lot easier so um i think that's pretty much it for this video i just really wanted to get on here and give you guys an update because i knew you would be wondering and hoping and praying and wanting to know so um, I'm really happy that I can share the good news with you today. Also, one other thing that I do want to say, um, I will be back to, um, my next video to give you the results of my second HCG beta. Um, but I also do want to make a video that's like a Q and A because I really haven't done that at all up until this point. And I've started to get like more questions in general about things. Um, and now that I have more people following me on my channel, I think that maybe you guys would be interested so if anybody has questions that they'd want me to answer in a like a separate video that's just a Q&A video then put them in the comments and I will like put it all together and try to answer all you guys questions and yeah I think that's it that Q&A video will probably be up like a random time next week or the following week depending on like how many questions people have or if people don't have questions then maybe I'll just tell you random facts about me I don't know anyway I'm rambling at this point so thank you guys so much for watching and all your support. I really appreciate it. If you are new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you can follow along and find out the results of my second HCG beta. And I will be back with another video probably on Friday or Saturday with those results. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.